I'm so glad you're here. Today you embark on a God-sized adventure of discovering who God created you to be and what he created you to do. He has so much more for you, for your identity and your purpose. It's no accident that you're here. It is not some fluke that brought you here. God said, now is the time. He said, this is the place. And you said, yes, good for you. You know, the, the opposite of by accident is on purpose. So I don't think it's any coincidence that today we begin our journey studying chapter one, created for so much more purpose, affecting change. Today, as we begin our journey together, I'm going to share a couple of personal stories from my own adventure with the Lord, discovering my purpose and my identity. We're going to talk about God as a master artist. We're going to talk about God as a master chef. And then I am going to answer the question, how is it that I know there is so much more for you? Now, as I sat with the Lord and asked him where precisely he wanted to begin our time together, he took me back to my own personal journey of discovering who he created me to be and what he created me to do. So let's begin at the beginning. My parents named me Deborah for the biblical character in the book of Judges. But I grew up being called Debbie until I hit high school. There I was a part of a group of friends where there were three of us with the derivative of Deborah as our names. My one friend was Deborah and you didn't dare call her anything else. And then there was Debbie. And so I became Deb and I used that Deb both personally and professionally for decades, but God had another plan. Now bear with me because this may feel like we're taking a bit of a detour here, but trust me, it's an important part of the journey. We moved, my family and I moved to Nashville in 1997, and it took us four years and 21 churches before we finally found the church we were gonna call home. Now that church challenged us to put aside our more traditional upbringing and even adult experience. But as we did that, we were able to trade what had become for us a Sunday morning ritual experience for wanting a deeper relationship with the Lord. So it is no surprise as I developed that deeper relationship with the Lord that I developed quiet time in the mornings, regular time spent with the Lord, regular time spent in scripture, and regular time spent in prayer. And it was during that quiet time that the Lord began my journey of identity and purpose with a whisper. As an artist, I had been commissioned to create a piece of art for a woman I knew was not churched. And as I sat after my devotions and, and time with the Lord one day, but I was still in his presence, I was pondering the design. And I felt the Lord whisper that he would meet her in that piece of art. And as the days and weeks went on from that, he showed me that he would infuse his presence in any of the art that I did, as it was created from a place of a worshipful heart, a place of abiding with him, a place where worship music blared 
most of the time, that he would infuse his presence in that art and that the pieces of art that I was creating would become gateways for others to experience him in new ways. He showed me that he had created me to be a prophetic artist. A prophetic art is not that which tells the future. Prophetic art is that which brings heaven into the earth. And it can take multiple forms. It could be songwriting, poetry, storytelling, anything that is artistic, that is created from a place of worship and abiding, can serve as that gateway for others to encounter the Lord. As he grew me up in that element of being a prophetic artist, I went through some inner healing, I had many conversations with my mentors. He redeemed my full identity. I began to ponder who this Deborah was as I walked out that journey. And I went to scripture. I opened my Bible. I went to Judges 4 and 5. I sat with the Lord to learn who Deborah was, who was this biblical character that my parents had in mind when they named me Deborah. Deborah was a leader. She was an advisor. She was a prophetess and she was an artist. Her art form was songs. She was the writer and singer of songs. And as I delved into all of those characteristics, I realized more and more that my parents had named me Deborah by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And to this day, when I used the name Deborah, it is as if I am saying yes to the Lord and yes to heaven because he showed me that I was also a leader, an advisor, a prophetess, and an artist. As I explored this whole notion of identity as Deborah and as my purpose as advisor, leader, prophetess, and artist, I realized that when the children of God live in that intersection of identity and destiny, we serve as that gateway for others to encounter God and we advance the kingdom as only we can in who God created us to be and what he created us to do. Now, you might be thinking, what does my story as a professional prophetic artist have to do with you? And I would like to share a scripture with you that connects us with the same identity and purpose journey. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says this, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, so that we would walk in them. If you look that scripture up in the Amplified Version, it expands his workmanship, that we are his workmanship, to mean his own master work, to mean a work of art. You, my friend, are God's masterpiece. You are his work of art. You have that capacity to be the gateway that allows others to experience God in a deeper manner. But let's go back to the second half of that verse as well. You were created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. 
You see, God created the works that he wants you to walk in. He created your purpose. He knew your purpose before he created you. He gave you exactly the right gifts, talents, personality traits, whatever you would need to fulfill that purpose you have within you. And then he placed you at the exact time in the precise location in order to fulfill that purpose. He gave you all the right ingredients and he puts you in the right environment for you to fulfill your purpose. As the master artist, he created you to be that gateway, just like my artwork. And as the master chef, he gave you everything you need to fulfill your purpose. And my family loves to cook. Even my adult sons love to cook. Several years ago, I found myself preparing Christmas dinner for three generations and far more people than we were used to serving. And as dinner time approached, I realized I didn't have enough vegetables. My son, Jesse, came in the kitchen and he looked at the panic that was on my face he said, Mom, what can I do? I said, I told him the story. I don't have enough vegetables, but I have some carrots. He said, okay, I'll take care of it. He said, how do you want them, sweet or savory? I said, savory, because it went with the meal better. So he proceeded to open the refrigerator, get out what he needed, and then he went over to my spice cabinet. He opened it up. He twisted the turntables till he found precisely the herbs and spices that he wanted in order to create the dish that would taste savory and delicious, but that would also fit with the full meal. The Lord is the master chef. He does the same thing for you. He created you with exactly the right ingredients, the right gifts and talents to equip you to be that person that he created you to be and to do what he created you to do, not just for yourself or by yourself, but also as a part of the body of Christ where you live. The greater meal, so to speak. So we've talked about the Lord as a master artist and we've talked about him as the master chef. So we arrive at that question. How is it I know that there is so much more for you? And the answer really is very easy. There is so much more for you because there is so much more of the Lord. He is a God that has infinite possibilities and innumerable opportunities. His character is infinite. It goes on and on and on. And as you are created in his image, and you reflect his character, there's always more. Because he's never truly 100% revealed to us. We can't possibly know the infinite nature of the Lord. So as you seek him, you become different. You become transformed. And you reflect so much more of his character. And that becomes the so much more in your life. God has great things planned for you. He has an amazing future in store for you. 
as you seek him through the exercises in this book, you will soar with him into the so much more that he has for you. You will take flight into the amazing future as you allow Holy Spirit to be the wind beneath your wings. How awesome is that? I am so excited for you. Each chapter as we move into prayer, you will see one of my original paintings. Now, I've already introduced you to the notion that artwork can serve as a gateway to experience so much more of God. And I invite you to do just that. These paintings are in different styles. They may not appeal to you personally, but that's okay. I ask that you let that set, be set aside so that the Lord can show you what he wants you to see and you can hear what he wants you to hear. Allow him to speak through the art and through the prayer. So as we move into that prayer, may he open your eyes to see and may he open your ears to hear. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you have created each person watching with their unique gift mix to serve their unique purpose. us intimately. So Lord, I ask for your blessing to be upon these children of yours as they sit with you and they seek you to discover who you formed them to be and for what purpose you formed them in their mother's womb. Thank you, Lord, that you have gone before us, that you walk with us, and that you are also our rear guard as we take this adventure together into discovering the so much more purpose that you have for us. As we realize that we can affect the kingdom and affect the change, you call for in the world. As we seek to live in that sweet spot of our God-given identity and our God-given purpose. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We give you the honor and the glory for all that you are going to do along this path of adventure. glorified through it all. In Jesus' name.